Ever been planning a nice evening with your mans and your side nigga starts getting a little too bold for his britches? He starts talking bullshit in that hood ass accent like, I'm in love with you and I'ma make your nigga leave you so we can be together. Nigga, please. Just cause your dick game A1 don't mean that $52.82 gonna do shit for me. But anyway, now you just made an oopsie all over the kitchen and guess what? It's time to make haste. We gotta clean this shit up and get out of here before Financially Stable Bay comes to pick you up later. So, here's our little idiot's guide to murder title. Damn, you really did that shit. Fuck it, let's clean it up. Step one, you must first dismember the body for easier transportation and eradication. The chainsaw is an excellent choice for an easy going chopping, but caution. A chainsaw dismemberment can be fairly messy. Step two, now it's time to eradicate the pieces by dissolving them in a jug of acid. Careful not to get any of this stuff on you. It'll eat you alive. Oh, Literally. While you wait for the acid to completely liquefy the limbs, begin scrubbing the floors and walls spotless. Though not too spotless. Not like this hole was very clean in the first place. Step four, check on them limbs. See if they still liquefying. Step five. If the body is completely dissolved, it's time to dispose of the waste. Step six. Tie up any loose ends. Step seven. Repeat steps one through five on previous loose ends for proper disposal. Now that you've all but completely rid the place of any incriminating evidence, it's time for our final step. Get the fuck out of there, bitch! What are you doing? You dead ass just killed two people. The cops coming. <laughs> Freeze, bitch! Well, I think that went rather well. Remember, if you ever find yourself in a murder situation, just follow the guide and everything should pan out okay. Stop! Resisting! Get that nigga too! Oh, shit! Happy hunting! <laughs> <laughs>